Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. In today's episode we're going to take that gearbox out to John's workshop day, start stripping it down to rebuild the gearbox for the 2A electric project. <laughs> big bolts but we also have to remove this section here and then that'll strip it off from the gearbox at this location the gearbox to the transfer case has some external bolts you can get to but interestingly enough they also have a bunch of internal bolts we have to take this cover off here mm -hmm. to get the bolts to get the gear out to get the bolts to get these two bits to split yeah. Painful design. Yes. But that's okay. All right. We'll start wrenching on that. Maybe a spray of WD-40. Probably best to remove this and uh, have a look to the inside before we invest too much energy and time into it. Our first job, remove that sump plate. Hmm. Planter box, John. Crusty. Yeah. Some of them still look a bit sharp though. Don't they? Yeah. This is the bit that's been opened, so the gearbox is a bit better sealed. That it's, looks just it, like soil. Yeah, it's not beach sand, it's not gritty, it's actually quite tasty fine. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. I think the transfer case gears we had were all good, so yeah. we're not so careful about these ones. So we have to get this guy out to get to the bolt heads that are behind it for the gearbox. Okay. I have to get this guy off next. Yeah. Yeah. box is pretty much the same, the transfer case changed. Hmm. The transfer case on this one is shot. Could be re 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 rebuilt though. Mm. No. Bit of rust in it. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, you want to eat? No, you just drink your tea, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two Landy Day here at workshop. <coughs> Horrocks little 80 inch and my ute, of course. But round the corner, also got Steve O's Series 3. You might have seen this in the background once or twice. It's a little Series 3 that um, Steve restored and drives around as his weekly driver. Now, it's a bit like a uh, Land Rover convention workshop day. This, this, and that. Now that that's out of the way, it seized up. Grammy oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Award winning. Too big circle. Hit that the other way. That one. Go the spider's nest. Oh, we're back. back. Looks better than the one we've got. Yeah, it's actually got like almost complete teeth. Are they meant to be square or? Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's she looks like a guy. Uh, I'm giving up the whole gearbox just to get that one bit. Well, there's the problem. We've diagnosed the problem. Yeah. It's missing a few teeth, isn't it? This is the problem with this gearbox. We actually want this part. So all of this was basically to get this part. We probably could have bought it for a couple of bucks, but where's the fun in that? Missing a few teeth. And eating no corn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like a banjo player from Bucket Guy. The bearing went pop. The bearing's the main thing for now. And the rest of it's coming too, the gear is moving up now. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. Why does something like one? that come together for you but never for me? Mate, Numbers. <laughs> so we've got three people doing a job that one man just can't do. Yeah. One boy. Yeah, one boy. Merry Christmas, John. Well, I think that's mission accomplished and I can have a cup of tea now. Yeah. I'm putting the kettle on. Yeah, good idea. Calling lunch, lunch smoker. Oh, could be. Yeah, twelve o'clock. That's lunch. Lunch, lunch somewhere. Any reason for a cup of tea? <laughs> See this one here, the teeth. Not eating any corn that one. So we've gone and pulled that one out. Teeth are in pretty good condition. So we'll give that a clean up. That's that. We're going to start going through these, all these other bits check their condition um, and replace anything that needs replacing um, out of that other box but these all kind of look okay so I think that was the key one that was knackered so going through the parts you can see this selector here which is the uh, first reverse selector is rather badly chewed out so I pulled the other one off the uh, spare box and that's actually in very good condition 
So I'll give that a clean up and get it onto there. There we go. All cleaned up, ready to go back in. Zero wear on it. So this is all the original gearbox, all spread out, all in sort of some kind of order. Um, I guess the next thing for us now that we've replaced those couple of worn bits with those salvage parts is start, start cleaning, starting at this end, work my way through, clean all of that up, and then we'll get to putting it back together with new seals, bushes, bits and bobs. But for now, some cleaning. I think I've said in a previous video that uh, restoration is about 80 or 90% cleaning. Well, it's about 90% when you start on a gearbox. So there we go, starting to get some parts cleaned up. These are all looking good. Nice and shiny. A few more to go all this stuff here so I guess the next workshop day I'll continue cleaning so it's hard to uh, show you an awful lot it's a bit of a long day of cleaning and stripping down that box to get those couple of parts we needed but um, anyway we're getting there getting some shiny bits that we can put back together A quick thank you this week to Cookie, who's uh, joined up as a patron. It's one of our workshop managers. Thanks, Cookie. You're up there on the workshop wall of fame, mate, forever. Good on you. Well, that's it for this week, YouTubers. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. It was a bit of a funny old week. Lots of uh, grimy pulling apart and cleaning work. Doesn't make for exciting video, but that's uh, restoration. It doesn't always, it's not always the glory work. Anyway. Um, Next week, we've got a cracking video. Um, the patrons know where I'm off to, but suffice to say, it's quite a bloody adventure. So tune in next week. Um, until then, take care of yourselves and look after each other, folks. See ya. Doesn't want to start. Whenever it's wet, it doesn't like it starting. For sale, one Land Rover.